Ainsworth. Gabbiadini tries to get Leicester on the defensive again, and that's a good through ball, and Johnson bursts onto it brilliantly. Oh, it's a superb goal! Tommy Johnson gives Derby the lead. 18 minutes to half-time. I would think Leicester would be more frustrated than anything about the uh, free kicks and corners that they've wasted. That's a good through ball, though, from Ormond Roy to Walsh. Still Walsh. That's a corner. As big and strong and determined as they come, Steve Walsh, who's uh, played, remember, only one full game in the last seven months. He had a very serious knee injury. He's another successful conversion from a centre-half, and he's, he's scored a lot of goals in a very short period as a centre-forward. Free kick goes in high again towards all those big men on the far post. It comes back out to Whitlow, and he's driven a brilliant shot in. Well saved by Taylor. That's excellent play by the Derby keeper. You can see why he's been voted their player of the year. That, that, he, did, he couldn't have seen a lot of that ball come in. And that was a terrific strike from Whitlow. It really was. Great save. I mean, he, he, he got it too well. He could have done with cutting the neck off it, as we say in the game. But look at that. It's come through a cluster of players, and it's a great save. They bypass the midfield again with the long ball up to those big men at the front. And Blake battles to win it back off Cowards. Well, Whitlow really struck this one viciously. And Martin Taylor made a brilliant reflex stop. Martin Taylor is the only Derby man who's played in every game for them this season and will be lifted by that marvellous save. Blake for Leicester. Coatsworth, that's a dangerous ball, that. And the keeper's beaten to it by Walsh, it's gone in! Steve Walsh! Leicester on that ball! Well, didn't take a lot of predicting how they might get a goal, Alan. Big high ball, a ball that really the keeper should have dealt with. But not only that, if we watch it, not only does he not deal very well with this ball, Williams really should have cleared it for me. Watch here now. A lot of players, he can't get to it. But Williams, it, it was easier to edit than, than miss it. He just seemed to get as if he, he got rooted to the spot. I think he maybe expected the, the referee to give a foul. But well, suddenly the game comes to life. I've heard of a missed kick, that was a missed head by Paul Williams, and Steve Walsh has profited. It's his first goal for eight months, and it has brought Leicester City level at a crucial moment in the game. Only four minutes of the first half remaining. You've decided to play a certain way against them. At times, uh, at times it isn't pretty, but it can be effective. We just feel today it's a strength we've got to try and play to. Charles. Oh, that's a great return ball by Hart. Charles is with the cross, it's a bit too deep. But Derby keep the pressure going. I feel that's what Derby have got to do. They've got to start playing little one-twos and trying to get in and around these big men at the back there. That's the best way, because once they get in wide positions, the, the, the delivery today hasn't been that good. It's let them down badly, really. Forsyth finds Pembridge again, 17 minutes to go. Knocked in long towards Hart on the far post. That was a good header and a fine save by Ward. Now Cowens. Gabbiadini took it well. It was a difficult ball, that. And a good ball forward, too, for Johnson. Danger here. Leicester have defended well again. But Cowens wins it back for Derby. And there's a slip, and there's a chance here! And Harks could have made glory for himself. The man who made history, John Harks, is the first American player ever to score a goal in a major Wembley final. Could have had another headline. Here's Joe Chim for them. Williams with the interception. Carey's clearance, drops to Blake. On it goes to Walsh. It should be... Routine for Charles, but Ormond Roy's making life difficult for him. Unless they get the throw. 
Ormond Roy did very well there, Alan, didn't he? Chase an absolute lost cause, and he's got his team of throwing in a very good area for them. Taken quickly. Williams with a good clearance. Race. Thompson. Walsh. Good ball back into Jochen. Bit of magic from him, perhaps. It's a good ball. Grayson. And it goes towards Ormond Roy. Brilliant save it's in. Walsh has scored. Leicester City are in dreamland now. That might be the goal that finally takes them to heaven. Because heaven is what these fans will regard the Premiership as. And Brian Little's team, thanks to the inspirational Steve Walsh, might just have made it at the third attempt. This is a terrific move, the best move of football by Leicester in this match. A magnificent cross here. No other word for it. And a great save from the keeper. But who's there? It's a centre-half turn centre-forward Walsh. And that, that, that's football. Derby have had their chance, Leicester have had theirs. The difference is Leicester have taken it. And unfortunately, Derby didn't. And that could be it. Orman Roy celebrates his vital part in that vital, vital goal. And Steve Walsh, the man who's been out for seven months, the man whose knee ligaments were wrecked and has spent so much time just working hard to get himself back to fitness, comes in for only his second full game since early in the season and gets his second goal that might win the playoff final and the place in the Premiership for Leicester City. Unbelievable excitement around Wembley now. Three minutes to go, indicates Brian Little. The way this game's gone, it's had so many twists in the second half. But uh, I, th I think Leicester, as the game has gone on, have come more and more into it. Orman Roy just deprived of the chance to head goalwards by Craig Short. They've just got to get it forward now. And forward it goes to Johnson, but he has no support. Gibson hits it in for Joe Chim. Joe Chim could round it off here for Leicester City. Well saved. Martin Taylor did well. And that's the final whistle. Leicester City have done it. Twice the Wembley losers. Now the Wembley champions. Right. And Steve Walsh has come back to give them glory Wait and a place in the Premiership at long, long last. You can feel the emotion draining out of Brian Little and the emotion too for the Derby players in defeat. I don't think we played great football. We decided that before the game. We wanted to come and be tough. I mean, I think the feature of the last two months, we've gone behind in so many games and come back to draw and sometimes win. And we just said before the game, if they score, hang in there. And I mean, we've had a couple of breaks, obviously. We're just chuffed to bits, I can't believe it. So, scenes of devastation down on the pitch amongst the Derby players, but Wembley is all about winners. Leicester City know what it's like to lose here. Two successive playoff finals, they ended up the beaten side. But today, memorably and historically in their case, they climbed those steps as winners to receive the Football League trophy from Mr Mike Naylor, the managing director of Ensley Insurance. And this is going to be one of the most satisfying moments in this club's long history. It could have been a third successive defeat and tears, but it'll be tears of joy now for Simon Grayson, the captain of Leicester City, as he receives his medal and now the trophy. It means promotion, it means millions of pounds, it means heartbreak to these Derby County players. And they all receive a medal as the tears flow for Tommy Johnson. It's impossible not to feel the emotion of these occasions. And Tommy Johnson, who strove so hard to win it for his side. Big Ian Ormanroyd back in the top flight again, where he played, of course, for Aston Villa under Graham Taylor. Steve Thompson, three losing finals for Bolton Wanderers and Leicester City, now a winner. Brian Carey never made it at Manchester United. He's made it now with Leicester into the top league. 
and Mike Whitlow, the former Leeds man. Didn't quite get a medal when they won the uh, championship, didn't play enough games, he's got one now. Gary Coatsworth from Darlington to the Premiership, what a story. Gavin Ward, the goalkeeper who won back his place a few games ago. And Colin Gibson, another man who's seen life at the top with Villa and Manchester United. But the hero of the day to these Leicester fans gets his medal last of all. The two-goal man, Steve Walsh. Steve, you said he fancy scoring the winner and you did it. Oh, I'll tell you what, I can't believe it. I'll tell you, overwhelmed, I tell you, honestly. I can't believe it. I made you sweat a lot in the second half, but that winning goal was a good one, wasn't it? Yeah, you know, I was saying to myself, just one more chance, that's all I needed. And I was very tired in the end, but uh, just the one chance and I took it and that was it. How does it feel? Unbelievable. Well done. Thanks very much. Third time lucky, a great feeling. Yeah, it's brilliant, mate. I mean, all the lads deserved it, I think, and we hopefully this time, like I said, we deserve to go up. And we're in there in the Premier League. Tremendous support today from the fans. Oh, it's brilliant. They've been brilliant throughout the season. And, you know, in the last couple of seasons, they have, I know, since I've been here, you know, in the first team and that, and I'm enjoying every minute of it. It's brilliant.